little bit safer. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought that guy survived. Kaboom! Let's check this chance to go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Go grab quick revive, I guess. Round six, and we already went down once. Amazing. That's how good I am. I'm jealous. So, some news. Some breaking news. We are on top of this stuff. Breaking news, guys. <laughs> Actually, um, this has pertained to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, which, uh, take notice of how early it is. We're only in March. They don't announce this kind of stuff till like, late April, early May. But there's link leaked information. Oh, Jeebus. Leaked information about the next Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. And um, according to this guy's a fellow YouTuber, um, which I will probably link his video down below in the description so you can check it out. But this YouTuber, Drifter, he says from he's got a reliable source uh, with someone who he trusts really, really well. Uh, someone who says he even trusts with his own life. Um, leaked this information to him. And uh, we have a title for the next Call of Duty. It is going to be called Call of Duty Ghosts. So they, it is not going to be called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. As I kind of presume, because that kind of mixes with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Kind of confuses some things. So uh, we're going to have Call of Duty Ghosts, which is kind of weird to say, but it's going to be its own little spinoff. And what it's supposed to be is it's set in the future, but something happens in the storyline or whatever, and they are forced to use this generation guns. So essentially what it's like is if something happened to us and we're forced to resort, resort, sorry, resort back to uh, like Civil War era type guns. That's essentially what the game's gonna be like. Is they're gonna be in the future, but they're gonna have to resort back to using uh, modern, our modern generation guns. So that'd be kind of interesting to see. It'd be nice to see how that happens. I don't know if it's something like what happens in Black Ops 2, where someone kind of takes control of everything and uh, maybe disables the weapons, or somehow, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to see how that turns out. Um, and, you know, our loading screens for... Ooh, 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 these guys are angry. Loading screens for multiplayer, um, where you just spawn into the map and you're just waiting as it counts down, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7. They are no longer to be doing that. Uh, instead, what's going to be is kind of like um, in the campaign mode where you, uh, you're you coming into a map, maybe repelling out of a helicopter onto the map, or even uh, breaking through something, you know, breaking down a doorway or breaking out some glass, and then you're inside the map, and then that's how everybody starts, rather than just, you know, automatically spawning inside of inside of the map. So that'll be kind of interesting. You know, it'll keep you busy and everything. Uh, make it a little bit more interesting so it's not so boring. You're just sitting there waiting. I don't know about y'all. I love Black Ops 2, but I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this next one. Right? Uh, they're supposed to announce it. I think it said May 1st. Um, unless, you know, probably because Activision and Treyarch catch wind of this, or not sure, Ark, sorry, Activision catch wind of this, and they may decide to change things just because this got leaked. <laughs> you know, they they do that kind of stuff. Boom. Woohoo. We got stuck in that a little bit. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of crawlers. Uh, 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 uh. Who wants some? Who wants some? You want some? Get it. Get it. Die. Oh, I'm sitting in the fire. Man, there's a lot. Alright. We're gonna go hit the box. Maybe we will get a pistol. That'd be awesome. Because we are currently out of ammo. My cat is wandering around. I don't know if he's meowing up the door. I hope he isn't. Oh, the beautiful ray gun. We're going to take it just so we speed things up a little bit. What are you doing? Get out of here, son. Oh, sorry. That doesn't count. Ignore that. You didn't see that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> We're going to take this gun, uh, not necessarily to use like I accidentally did there, 
but to um, just kind of speed up the process. What is this? Double tap? That might be useful. Ooh, there we go. Let's do it one more time, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna go check out, see how much this, uh, I think it's stamina? Yeah, stamina. Can you only have four perks on this map? I can't. I can't remember if you can only have four and it won't let you buy the fifth one. I really hope not. I hope you can have five, that'd be nice. But I don't know. It's been a while since I've played this one. And I don't think I've ever actually strived to get all the perks on this map. <laughs> Dome rockers in the house tonight. But we'll see. I may even hold off for as long as possible to open up that uh, bank area and get that speed cola. Turtle Beach is I didn't hear them sneaking up. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing wasting ammo? Oh man, I forgot I opened up that door. Woo! La la dee dee da! Oh, 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 tricky zombies, tricky zombies! Oh, I got a wicked itch on my nose, man. Oh. There's no way this is near the end right Woohoo, we got some max ammo in there. Where are you at, zombie? There you is. Man, that was a quick round. Max ammo! Sorry, I have a really bad itch on my nose. We gotta try to get this Galva Knuckles used as much as possible so it's not a waste. It actually pays for itself fairly quickly. It's kind of insane. Bloop. Bloop. Come on, bros. Huh. I've noticed a, uh, a lot of YouTubers that do commentaries and such, they love using the PS4. Or, I'm sorry, PS3. I wish the PS4 was out now. Um, I'm more of an Xbox type of dude, but honestly, I'm not going to be biased on it because I frankly haven't had much experience with the PS3. So I don't even know if it's really, like, if it's any better or how it is. I know it's free. I'm kind of jealous about that part. But of course, there's also the perk that, you know, we get our DLCs a month or so early. What's up, guys? That's the end of our second episode here. Um, for our feature video today, we have a walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 3 that will show you how to get perfect synchronization. And our previous video is actually a video about the um, pre-order for Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, and all the things you get bonus for pre-ordering. Uh, make, sure, make sure you subscribe to the channel for a chance to win either a PSN code or an Xbox code, and follow me on Twitter at TheSkyNova. Bye!